all right let's go and pass the actual data from the main activity okay so we have already retrieved the data all right so to display the data into the uh, field uh, let's let me show you which field i'm talking about so to display the data in this field we have already phrased the data using the storage reference that we have here for the profile picture and to display the uh, full name phone number and email address we have these fields here so we have done the same thing so let me show you where we have done that here let's say so here we are creating the document reference and we are going to the collection called users and inside that we have another document uh, based on the user id and we are retrieving the data using the add snapshot listener and we are whatever the data is received i'm setting that with the phone number full name and the email address okay so i can do the same thing in the edit profile even i can copy this same file from here or same uh, reference from here and put it there but instead of you know uh, calling the firebase firestore multiple times i'm just going to pass these data from here to there okay to pass the data there is multiple ways to do that and one of the ways is that um, we can call the function we can create the static variable and global variable and set the data from this snapshot and pass that to the edit profile activity but i want to try something new since our full phone number full name and email address already have the data okay so they already have the data that is received from the document snapshot so i want to get the same thing from here phone number full name and email address and pass that so i'm going to try that i don't know if that is going to work or not but let's see otherwise we'll implement the other method so we have the phone number phone okay i'm going to get text okay i'm going to uh, convert that to a string similarly for the email address i'm going to use the email or whatever the thing they have used there i have used mail get text or to string and similarly i'm going to get the email dot get text dot to string okay so let's run this application and we should be able to get the actual data of the user if not we'll implement this in other way so let's do that okay the application is running now uh notice that we have full name email address and the phone number so i'm gonna click on change profile and we should get the actual data but i'm getting something else oops so instead of full name i use the phone number i don't know what i was thinking email is fine and the phone number okay let's rerun this and we should be able to see the actual data here and after that we'll implement we'll change that data okay now we have the real data okay so now you need to understand the structure in the way how i have been uh, storing this data so currently i'm storing this data into the firebase firestore so let me show you where i have done that so i'm gonna go to the browser here and open the firebase console and show you guys the structure of the data that i have stored okay so this is the authenticator app project so I'm going to click on that and you should be able to see the data. So I'm going to go to the database here. And here you will see the data collections and documents. So let's see. Okay, so we have the users collection here. And I have the multiple user click on any of this and you can see i have uh, stored the data in this way email full name and the phone number all right so now uh, i need to change this email here full name here and the phone number here as well as this email is taken from the authentication here okay so if i go to the authentication and here you'll see a lot of users and this is the identifier email so i need to change that email here and i also need to update that email in the database so that is the over overhead of storing the data in the firestore but uh, we don't have any other choice right now so i'm going to go back to here 
and in the edit profile I'm going to change that first so first thing I need is the instance of Firebase auth so f auth as well as I need the fire store okay f store now I'm gonna initialize this data here so f auth equals to firebase auth dot get instance and f store equals to firebase fire store dot get instance okay and now let's see uh, okay now what I'm gonna do is once the user click on the uh, let me open the correct layout edit profile okay now whenever user click on the save buttons I wanna validate the data and I wanna store that data or update the data okay so if they want to update only email address they can change the email address and every everything else will be same and if they want to change the phone number uh, full name they can do that by just simply clicking on this save button okay so I'm gonna create the instance of the button which I have not created so button save button and I'm also going to give the correct resources for that so save button find view id added id save profile info that is the id of that button okay so here you can see i want to save the onclick listener on this so save button dot set onclick listener new onclick listener and whenever user click on that we're going to get the data and we are going to store that or update that into the Firebase Fire Store. But to update the email to update the email address, we also need to update that through the Firebase authentication as well. So once the button is clicked, so if so inside this onclick uh, method, we are going to extract the data that user have inserted. So I'm, I'm assuming that user is uh, updating the data. So I'm going to extract the full full name email and phone number and we're going to gradually change all of them in our database all right so first i'm going to extract the data and in string form otherwise i can directly validate them together using the uh, get text method of this uh, text view so profile full name dot get text dot to string so if i need to convert that to two string to you to be able to use is empty method or or if email is empty profile email dot get text dot to string dot is empty or and that is if empty so i need to check is empty so is empty all right now if any of the this uh, field is empty or user have not inserted any new data then we are going to display some error and we are, will not let user save the form okay so we will uh, display the message we'll say one or many fields are empty okay and we are going to return so we don't want user to go ahead we just will just return okay so but if this check is uh, passed that means user have inserted the data so uh, now here I'm going to extract the email and I'm going to uh, try to change that email so if user have inserted new email it's going to change it otherwise it's going to uh, display some error or it says the email already exists okay so to change the email first we need to change that to the firebase authentication uh, user object and after that we'll change that to the uh, firebase fire store where we have saved all of this information that I showed you okay so I'm going to extract the email first so string email okay so I'm gonna get email so I can use the same thing from here okay now to update the email of the particular user we need to get the firebase user so here I'm going to create a variable for the firebase user so firebase yeah, this one let's call this as a user and user equals to initialize the user with the current user i can do that using f auth dot get current user okay so at this point user is logged in so uh, now i'm going to update the email so user 
dot update email okay so update email is the method that we're going to use so here I need to pass the string that is email so I'm going to pass the new email and I'm going to add the listener so it's success listener on success listener if the email is changed successfully I'm going to display the toast email is changed okay and if the changes is did not go as a planned then I'm going to add the failure listener so new uh, sorry on failure listener that means the email is already exist so I'm just going to toast whatever the message that we're going to get and when the email is changed successfully I will also update the uh, full name and the profile email uh, profile phone number of the user so to do that I need the document reference so I'm gonna use document reference doc ref okay so now I'm gonna use F store that is Firebase Fire store and I'm gonna use the collection that is called users and has the document of the UID based on the user UID so get UID and now I'm going to update the user using the doc ref okay so first I need the map that take the string as a key and object as the value so I'm gonna call it edited as a variable name and new has map now I'm going to put the data so user edited dot put now I need to use the same key that I have given in the firebase store fire store so I'm gonna go to the console and check which one is that so console okay in the database that I have this users and the user have the email f name and phone so if I want to update the email I need to use the same key here so that is email so I'm gonna go here and email is a key and I, I need to pass a value that is also called email because I need to give this updated email so I'm using the same variable here all right now I'm going to uh, put the first name and remember to have the same key that is F name from the database here so it has the F name and phone okay so to get the full name I can use profile full name dot get text dot to a string and similarly for the phone number dot put and phone number has a key of phone and I can use profile phone dot get text and convert that to string 